Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. I'm just sitting at my newly organized desk with all these cute, affordable DIYs I just made. What was that? You guys want to learn how to make them? Okay. All you have to do is keep on watching and like and subscribe. Alright guys, so this is the before of my desk and I just went ahead and started decluttering my desk by taking literally everything off of it. I highly recommend doing this if your desk is super cluttered and you're just kind of sick of it. So I suggest taking everything off of it so you can start from scratch and it's so helpful you guys. Next I went ahead and added some greenery just to add some pops of color on my desk. Next I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these super cute and affordable uh, DIY can organization basically. For this you're going to need cans, paint, you can literally use whatever color you want, paintbrush, hot glue gun, You want to start by painting your cans, whatever colors you picked. I decided to go with light blue, light pink, purple, and gold. But like I said, you can use whatever colors you want. You want to let these dry um, all the way before you glue them together. So I just went ahead and hot glued all of these together. I used five cans, but you can go ahead and use six if you want to make it into a full triangle. I stopped at five though, but you don't have to. And I just went ahead and glued all of these together like so. This is super easy, but it's so helpful when it's just sitting on your desk holding pens, your glasses, literally whatever you want, and it's super cute. And when you're finished, you should get something like this. And I just went ahead and put in some highlighters, some lotion, my glasses, some pencils, and also some tape. And like I said, it's so cute, you guys. And next, I just went ahead and put a magazine holder that I got from the store. But I'm, I am going to be showing you guys how to make one out of a cereal box. You're going to need some scissors, some paint of your choice, a paintbrush, and a cereal box. I just went ahead and traced the original magazine holder, but you don't need a magazine holder to trace this. You can trace it however you would like. I just traced this with a marker, and then I'm going to go in with the scissors and cut away. When you're done, you can go ahead and paint it however you would like. I just went in back with those blue, pink, purple, and gold colors. And with this one, I tried to make like a marbled effect like so, but you can do it however you would like. I just went ahead and propped it up on a Clorox wipes container <laughs> and it worked perfectly actually, but you can use whatever you'd like. And you want to let this dry completely before putting any magazines in it. And when it's done, you should get something like this. And I just went ahead and put some magazines in it. But you can put in some books or literally anything you want to. And I think this is such a cute idea. And it's so easy to make, you guys. And when it's done, it should look like this. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys a super, super, super helpful hip, uh, tip. I cannot talk, you guys. So I just went ahead and took a magnet strip and hot glued it to the inside of my drawer. 
and this is basically just for paper clips or literally anything metal that you have cluttered around your drawer and basically you just want to take all your paper clips or whatever and put them onto the magnetic strip and it will stay there and it's honestly so helpful you can also use this for like bobby pins in your bathroom and the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is how i organize my other drawer i put paper on one side and i'm going to be putting some other things on the other side I just took some cardboard and lightly hot glued it to the inside of my drawer and took some washi tape and put it on top just to be a little bit decorative and it's so easy you guys but so helpful. For this next DIY you're going to need scissors, a cork roll, succulents or any fake plants, a hot glue gun and that is it. This is probably one of my favorite DIYs in this whole video. You're going to want to start by measuring the front of the first fake plant and measure the cork roll to fit the, uh, basically the front of it because we're going to be gluing the cork roll onto the front of the plant. And I just went ahead and hot glued the cork roll onto the plant. When it's done, it should look like this. And I just went ahead and did the same exact thing for my other plant. And you can use this for any type of plant. This one is a circular vase and the last one was a square one. Like I said, you can use literally whatever type of vase or plant you would like. And it does the same exact thing. It's so awesome. And yeah. And I just went ahead and glued that onto the base of the plant, like so. And when it's done, it should look like this. You can use these to um, write any reminders or notes and put them on the plants with a push pin. That is what the cork roll was for. And I think this is such a cute and helpful idea. And I absolutely love it. This is definitely my favorite. Alright guys, this is the finished product of my desk with all the DIYs that we did on it. And like, as you can see, I added a little tassel on top of my desk and I think this is such a cute touch. And yeah, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave, guys. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!